Mummy sneezes violently, knocked out the glass window, after gently stepping out of the cupboard, and politely said sorry. Adela was stunned, because just now, she had rescued the professor from the torture chamber. But the professor had been shot several times in his last moments of life. The professor performed an ancient Egyptian resurrection. The professor closed his eyes. The next second, the spell on the ground began to spin with the professor's breath. Then the professor levitated. But with a cry, his life came to an end. Adela looked at her sister with a pained expression, thinking that the professor's resurrection had failed. But just then, the mummy came back to life. He came out of the glass case. He looked around curiously. Then his attention was drawn to his sister sitting on a chair. But what Adela didn't expect was, this mummy was not a doctor, but a physicist with the pharaoh. Although he doesn't know how to heal, but he told Adela, the professor's secret technique, performed with his life, had revived all the mummies within a two-kilometer radius and in the museum near Adela's house. The mummy of a pharaoh is kept in a museum near Adela's house. Adela takes her sister to the museum to open the coffins on display one by one, asking if they were mummy doctors. Eventually, the pharaoh was released. On his signal, the pharaoh's royal physician himself came to the rescue. But what happened next? Adela went on the verge of a rampage. The pharaoh's doctor pulled out the hat pin, and according to the doctor's previous diagnosis, if the cap pin had been removed, the sister would have died instantly. But the magic of ancient Egyptian medicine, Adela was able to witness a miracle. Her sister finally woke up. The greatest wish of five years was fulfilled. Adela sets off on another adventure. Only this time. The journey, it's not going to be easy, because the cruise ship she boarded, was the Titanic. <laughs>